Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Gospel of the day is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 14 to 20. It speaks about the strong faith of a man seeking mercy for his son, suffering from Caesar, and also speaks about the lack of faith of the disciples as the main reason for failures in healing that suffering boy. The faith of the man is seen from the act of reverence. He knelt down before Jesus Christ and addressed Jesus with honor as Lord and humbly requested him, have pity on my son. His strong faith brought healing to the ailing boy. The gospel narrative tells us Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him. This power of Jesus casting out demons just by word stands in contrast to the disciples' inability to cure the man's son. Even the disciples were given the power and authority to heal the sick and expel demons. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Matthew 10:8. Jesus responds by saying, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? He reminds them that if they had trusted God, even just the size of a mustard seed, they could have moved mountain, a metaphor for doing the impossible. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, the Gospel reading reminds us of remaining firm in our faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Faith alone can enable us to witness Jesus through our life. Faith alone can help us to experience Jesus in our life. Faith alone can bring us closer to Jesus, even at the time of adversity. Hebrews 11 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Let us therefore pray for the blessings of God, so that we are not carried away by the desires of the world. Amen.